you came across this question in the jam exam how will you solve it it's actually very easy now let's solve together and the question says the nucleus of the isotope of hydrogen in this context tritium contains now this particular question is very easy first of all we have to basically note the topic to which this question is from and from the look of things this particular practice question is from the topic in chemistry which is determination of the numbers of protons electrons and neutrons of an atom which i've made on my youtube channel so it's important for you to watch that video lesson from the scratch okay to understand all of these aspects but in the course of this video lesson i'm going to explain in details how this question can be solved and also how you can actually solve other practice questions relating to this particular topic so let's get into this practice question moving further it must be noted here that the element hydrogen exists in three isotopic forms you know we have elements in chemistry and there are various isotopes are you understand what i'm saying so hydrogen is one of them that has isotopes and how many isotopic forms does hydrogen exist in three isotopic forms okay and they are proteum deuterium and tritium as you are seeing here now it must be noted here that among these three isotopes it must be noted here that it is tritium that is radioactive in nature meaning that it has the ability to emit radiations are you getting me now these radiations can be either the alpha radiation can be either the beta radiation or even the gamma radiation are you getting the point so this must be noted but in the course of this practice question they are asking us to determine what should be inside the nucleus of tritium it's actually very easy so moving further we have to know the respective symbols of the isotopic forms of hydrogen remember i said that they exist in three isotopic form and and the first one is called proteum whereby the other one is called deuterium and the last isotopic form is called tritium and according to this practice question they are asking us about what tritium but let's solve carefully first of all it must be noted here that the symbol for proteum is simply hydrogen one and one just note this i'm going to explain in details now for deuterium it is simply this hydrogen two and one as well well lastly for the element they are asking us to determine the content of the nucleus which is tritium it is hydrogen three and one so in the course of this practice question we'll be focusing on just tritium are you getting my point so i'm going to talk more on tritium but before i do that i have to explain something very very important now please watch this is an atom please note this this is an unknown atom x i don't know the element that is this okay for this atom always up is labeled as a whereby down is labeled as z are you understanding so the next thing we have to note here is what a means and also what z means do you understand a the symbol a is simply called mass number note this the symbol a is called mass number whereby the symbol z is called atomic number are you getting me now so with this it must be noted here that all elements or all atoms they are made up of three important subatomic particles which i call pen okay i call them pen pen are you getting the point so the question will now be how do i get the pen what's pen p means protons E means electrons and N here means neutrons. Now, let's say we are to draw the diagrammatic representation of an atom. Now, I want to draw the diagram of an atom so you see specifically where all of these guys are found. So, this is an atom. Let's just say this is an atom. Okay, an atom is made up of a centrally located nucleus. This is something that is centrally located. Just note this. And also, it has shells. Do you understand? Now, we are trying to locate where all of these guys are found inside this atom. This is an atom X. It is unknown. Now, this is the nucleus, which I said already. And inside this nucleus, we have two important subatomic particles, which I call, which are called 
protons and neutrons so inside the nucleus we have protons and neutrons found there whereby electrons revolve around the nucleus all of these guys i'm drawing now they are called electrons do you understand so it is protons and neutrons that is found inside the nucleus nothing else do you understand so with this information we can actually solve this question now before i progress let's just analyze the options and try to eliminate because the question says the nucleus of the isotope of hydrogen so they said the nucleus of the isotope of hydrogen tritium contains so definitely should the nucleus of hydrogen or any element at all in chemistry contain an electron no because i just said that nucleus contains two subatomic particles which are protons and neutrons so definitely for option d option d is out already because you are seeing that d is two electrons and one proton does nucleus contain electrons no it does not so now let us learn how to actually solve this question without stress now moving further we have to know how to determine the numbers of protons electrons and neutrons for an atom it's actually very easy this place you are seeing as proton proton number is gotten from this guy that is down so proton number is same as atomic number so proton number is z proton number is what z note this so whatever i'm seeing here should be my proton number and another thing for a neutral atom this atom is neutral why is it neutral it is without a charge are you seeing charges for all of these no are you seeing a plus or minus sign here no are you seeing a plus or minus sign here no and last time you seen a plus or minus sign in tritium no as well so it is a neutral atom and for a neutral atom proton number equals electron number whatever i'm having for my proton number should equal my electron number so definitely since proton number is z electron number will be proton number as well and proton number we, we said initially z do you understand so it's actually very easy and lastly how do i get my neutral number neutral number is solved by saying what is up minusing what is down so neutral number is simply a minus z neutral number is simply mass number minus atomic number I believe with this information we can actually solve this question and get the answer because this question is asking us to determine what should be inside the nucleus of tritium that's what they are asking and it's actually very easy remember the symbol for tritium is simply h31 which we said initially so what becomes the proton electron and neutron number for tritium the proton number i said it is always what is down so proton number for tritium in this context is one and also this atom is neutral so it is without a charge so the proton and electron number they are the same so proton num electron number as well becomes one so lastly for your neutron how do we get a neutron number neutron number is solved by saying a minus z what is up minus what is down what is up minus what is down so what is up here three minusing what is down that is two so and what and which subatomic particles is found in the nucleus we said initially it is proton and neutron so definitely for tritium we have one proton and two neutrons do you understand so let's look for the option here that has one protons and two neutrons let's check for option a option a it has two neutrons but it has no proton so it is wrong this one is wrong too okay for option b it has one neutron where we had we had two neutrons so this is wrong as well while option c has two neutrons and one proton so definitely the answer to this question is option c i believe now solving questions under this aspect is actually very easy irrespective of the elements you are giving you can actually use all what i've said to answer any question under this aspect i believe this video lesson was actually helpful to you so if you find it helpful make sure you share this video with your friends and also click on the subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss out any video lesson to be out soon and also share these lessons with your friends thanks for watching